In this video, I want to introduce you to the vector equation of a line. So, here is a line. Um, and let's say that the line is passing through a particular point. Let's say uh, this point has coordinates, um, I don't know, 4, 3, 2. OK? So, we know that this line is passing through a point, and this coordinate, A, itself has a position vector. OK? So, it has a position vector linking up with the origin O. OK? So, here is how I can get from O to A. So that would be 4, 3, 2. OK? So what I can do uh, is think about the vector equation of a line as an instruction of how to get to any point that is on that line. OK? How do I get to any point on that line? Well, if I know a point that is on the line, all I need to do is tell myself to get from the origin onto the point on the line. So travel along O to A. Okay? So if I travel from O to A, that gets me onto the line. From there, I need a way of getting myself to any point that is on that line. So, in other words, I need to make sure that I am travelling in the direction of that line. So, this line may have a certain direction. So, a vector that it is parallel to would give me this direction. So, this direction uh, vector could be something like, I don't know, 5, 2, minus 1, for example. That might be the direction vector. And so, to get to any point that is on this line, I need to get from O to A, and then any amount, so a certain amount of 5, 2, minus 1, will get me to any point that is along that line. So, we can say that... Any point, so let's uh, say any point, any coordinate along that line, and let's say it's x, y, z. How to get there is to go from O to A, and then travel a certain amount of 5, 2, minus 1. So let's say that the amount is some lambda. So this is a Greek letter lambda. OK? And that is the equation of this line. So in general, what we're looking at here, this x, y, z, we refer to as r. OK? So r is this x, y, z. And it is given by some position vector. OK, so this is the position vector of a point on the line. So position vector of a point on the line. And it doesn't matter which point you choose, OK? I could have had another point over here, so a point B, OK? And I could have used that as the position vector here. It doesn't matter. It wouldn't actually change the equation. Although the numbers would, it would look different, it would be it work work in the same exact way. So you have a the position vector plus lambda some multiple of a direction vector. So the direction vector is this b. So this is the direction. of the line. OK? So it has these two important points. And it links up with how we found the equation of a straight line 
in two dimensions. So if we were just looking, if I just asked you find the uh, find the equation of a straight line, then you know that the equation of a straight line is given by y equals mx plus c. Okay. So what happens here is that the c um, tells you where you're crossing the y-axis, and the m tells you how steep that line is. So the m is effectively telling you in which direction to point, and the c fixes it in place, and it must go through that point. So the c is effectively your position, and the m is your direction. And in exactly the same way, we have b as being the direction vector, so that points the line in the correct direction, and then point A, so I move that line about, all these lines are parallel, and the point A fixes it in place, fixes it in that particular position. Okay, And that is how we find this equation of a line in, in any, more, any kind of number of dimensions as you really want, really. Okay, So it can be extended uh, to two or three dimensions or, or even more if you really wanted to. But obviously, uh, visually, it becomes that much more difficult to think about. So in the next video, um, what we're going to do is we're going to find the equation of a line that goes through two points. Okay, We're, we're, going, to, we're going to be given two uh, distinct points, and we're going to find the equation of the line that goes through them.